Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for future events. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for future events. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. Just as a side note, with any donation you give, if you choose to, you could ask me a question in the comments section and I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. I want to apologize in advance for any background noise you may hear due to the dog snoring. All right, I scribed the pink gem for you today, and what showed up might not resonate with everyone, so please take what does. What showed up was a woman. She looked to be Native American. She had very long, dark hair and a braid, a feather in her hair, which is representing divine connection. And she held a baby in her arms, and then for a brief moment, it looked like she had a crown on her head. So that's representing, like, divine enlightenment, you know, the crown from God you know, placed upon her head. There's lots of reference to that in Revelations. Now, the image began to change where there was a man sitting next to her, and he was holding her in his arms. He had a beard, and he, like, was embracing her and had his arm around her, and it looked like her stomach was pregnant. So representing new beginnings, and for a select few of you, this could be a pregnancy. But in the distance, behind them was a lion. Now, a lion could represent in this context, and Something about the shape of its tail reminded me of serpent. Like, it could be that you have enemies that are watching you. Remember, the devil goes around like a lion looking for someone to devour. So this could represent these enemies that are not happy about this new beginning that's going to be taking place within your life. Now, this could be the pregnancy that's upset about, or it could just be the representation of this general new beginning that is going to be taking place in your life. And there's demonic energies that are trying to stand against it. But whatever Jesus decides to happen happens so there is going to be um nothing the evil could actually do now the first card to come out for you is the seven of chalices the temptation of christ and it says all i will give you he said if you will bow down and worship me so the demon is full of itself and thinks it could tempt god and you cannot tempt god so this is representing like i told you that negative energy that could be in the background video clicks off i will make the second half of the video and with the six, seven chalices being here, it represents facing variety of choices, need of wisdom and decision making, standing firm in one's beliefs, avoiding temptation or harmful paths, tests and spiritual growth. So like I told you, there is someone within your energy that is negative. Now the next card out for you is judgment. And it says last judgment. So this is representing God separating the good from the evil. And God is going to cast judgment on those that have done wrong. Remember, God is the one who made hell. So there is going to be a judgment for evil. No one is going to get away with evil deeds they have done. Even, you know, even though people will like to think that, you know, God is forgiving, God is forgiving to an extent, but he is going to make those that have done wrong be punished. And those who have done real bad evil will burn in and burn in the depths of hell. So this card is showing that those who have caused you, you know, trauma, those who have hurt you will be judged by God. And, you know, this is the last judgment is what it says here on the card. Now, with the judgment card, according to biblical tarot, represents self-evaluation, reflection, awakening, and rebirth, answering a higher calling, transformation, redemption, decision, and absolution. So very powerful energies that are coming through in these cards. Now, the next card out for you is the Bible verse, the joy of the Lord is your strength, so representing God giving you strength. And the next card out is ring. It says a marriage will take place, either romance, romantic or business. So you could possibly be getting married for a select few of you out there, or this could be some type of new beginning within your work environment. Next card out for you is parrot. Someone will gossip about all your secrets. So I feel like there's someone that's trying to slander you and talk bad about you behind your back. And I feel like it's that lion energy. Next card out for you is the owl. Good advice from a wise person. You're going to be receiving good advice in regards to the situation. And the next card out is chain of events that will affect your life. It's going to have some type of impact. 